As depressing as it may be, a once beloved acting superstar can go from hero to zero at an alarming pace. Follow up a smash hit with one too many commercial flops or critical duds, and before long, a once bankable actor can be left on the outside looking in. But the beautiful thing about the world of Hollywood and the business of acting is that an undesirable thespian's career can suddenly be saved with one dynamic, game-changing or unexpected performance. I'm Gareth from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 movie performances which saved an actor's career. Number 10. Chris Evans, Captain America in Captain America The First Avenger Up until around 2010, Chris Evans was widely known as the guy who popped up in superhero slash action movies as the cocky, wisecracking comic relief as seen in the likes of the Fantastic Four series and The Losers. However, none of these appearances really set the star up as a compelling leading man. On top of these dives into the action and super genres, Evans had also been part of his fair share of dramatic, romantic, and comedic flops too. However, a middle-of-the-road career suddenly had a rocket, or should that be S.H.I.E.L.D., strapped to its back when Evans was greenlit after initially rejecting the role to play Captain America in the first Avenger bringing a sincerity and wholesome quality to Steve Rogers from the minute we were introduced to him in 2011, Evans quickly established himself as the heart and soul of the burgeoning Marvel Cinematic Universe. Number 9. Adam Sandler, Howard Ratner in Uncut Gems Despite proving that he could most definitely excel in more dramatic projects like Punch Drunk Love and Funny People, it's fair to say that the majority of Adam Sandler's career from 2010 onwards has been dominated by a string of lackluster attempts at comedy. Now, don't get us wrong, Sandler is a comedy legend. Yet in recent times, his work in the genre has felt increasingly lazy and borderline unwatchable at times, leaving his reputation as a credible acting talent in tatters. Thankfully, Sandler was eventually given the chance to flex those dramatic muscles once again in 2019 with the part of Howard Ratner in Uncut Gems. Displaying the full spectrum of human emotion throughout the course of the feature, Sandler's deranged yet charming turn as Ratner managed to remind everyone exactly what he's capable of when given the right platform to showcase his ability. More of this, please, Sandler. Number 8. Reese Witherspoon, Cheryl Strayed in Wild Though she had appeared in the likes of Friends and American Psycho already, Reese Witherspoon really burst onto the scene in 2001 after her performance as Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. From here, the actor became one of the most sought-after performers in the business showing up in everything from The Simpsons to Walk the Line, for which she won an Oscar for Best Actress. However, as the actor reached the end of the 2000s, it became increasingly clear that she wasn't getting involved with projects she was legitimately passionate about. Witherspoon confirmed this herself a few years later, stating that she was kind of floundering career-wise and just working for the sake of working, which is never a good thing. That all changed when Witherspoon decided to found a production company by the name of Pacific Standard with the aim being to produce films featuring strong female leads. The actor would then go on to produce and star in Wild, giving what many classed as her most detailed, honest, and compelling performance in years as Cheryl Strayed. Witherspoon would go on to be nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actress for her work on Wild, and hasn't looked back since, starring in and producing both The Big Little Lies and The Morning Show series. Number 7. Jennifer Lopez, Ramona Vega in Hustlers after a number of critical successes towards the end of the 90s, Jennifer Lopez slowly began to settle down in the romantic comedy genre. However, films like The Wedding Planner, Monster-in-Law, and <laughs> Jiggly didn't exactly set her apart as a top-draw thespian. That largely didn't matter over the next two decades, though, as J.Lo still had a highly successful music career and various TV gigs to fall back on. It was this dropping quality when it came to her roles on the big screen, however, which ultimately made her impressive turn as Ramona Vega in 2019's Hustlers such a pleasant surprise. As a veteran stripper at the center of a hustle which saw a group of women getting rich men drunk and stealing their money via credit card transactions, Lopez produced a fascinating career-best performance. With Lopez now set to appear as Colombian drug lord Griselda Blanco in The Godmother, Hustlers may just be the beginning of a bold new chapter in her until recently largely underwhelming movie career. Number 6. Keanu Reeves, John Wick in John Wick Despite immortalizing himself as Neo and Ted in The Matrix and Bill and Ted series, respectively, 
Keanu Reeves found himself in a bit of a rut in the mid-2000s. Apart from Constantine, which has remarkably gone on to become something of a cult hit, the majority of the star's work ranged from average to mind-numbing. Then, just when it seemed like all hope of the once bankable star becoming a force of nature in the film industry again had been lost, Reeves agreed to step into the shoes of a man by the name of John Wick. As a retired hitman driven to finding the men who killed his puppy, given to him by his recently deceased wife, Reeves brilliantly reinvented himself as a stoic, highly efficient killing machine. The rather successful first outing opened the door for two sequels, both of which ramped up the balls-to-the-wall action and outstandingly choreographed combat sequences. Number 5. John Travolta, Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction After becoming a household name in the 70s for his turns as Tony Manero in Saturday Night Fever and Danny Zuko in Greece, it appeared the world, or at least the movie industry, was at John Travolta's feet. However, the star's career seemed to take something of a nosedive after appearing in the dreadful Saturday Night Fever sequel, Staying Alive with Travolta consistently finding himself in critical duds throughout the majority of the 80s and early 90s. That all changed, however, when Travolta was brought in to play Vincent Vega in Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction in 1994. Travolta's performance as the hitman and surprisingly talented dancer when the time calls for it ended up earning the star a nomination for Best Actor at the Academy Awards. The overall popularity of Pulp Fiction and Travolta's part in its success eventually led to the actor becoming a hot property once again. Well, for a bit. Until the star crapped the bed once again with Battlefield Earth in 2000. Since then, the actor has shown glimpses of his once unquestionable talent, as seen in his performance in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. But the likes of Gotti and The Fanatic have largely left a bitter taste in fans' mouths. Can he pull off yet another comeback? Uh, we'll have to see. Number 4. Matthew McConaughey, Ron Woodruff in Dallas Buyers Club Though he was enjoying a steady and reasonably successful acting career during his first two decades in the film industry, Matthew McConaughey still hadn't really made much of an impression outside of being the guy primarily found with his shirt off in romantic comedy comedies and forgettable action movies. In 2013, though, that all changed. After first putting in a notable shift in mud, McConaughey completely transformed both as an actor and physically to play Ron Woodruff in Dallas Buyers Club. As Woodruff, a real-life AIDS patient who helped smuggle unapproved pharmaceutical drugs into the state of Texas to treat himself and sell to other AIDS patients, the actor was simply mesmerizing. Praised as his finest turn yet, McConaughey went on to win the Academy Award for Best Actor. Soon after this career rejuvenating performance, the actor then captivated audiences once again in Christopher Nolan's Interstellar and lit up the small screen with his work on True Detective. Number 3. Jim Carrey, Dr. Robotnik in Sonic the Hedgehog When the initial trailers for this year's Sonic the Hedgehog feature hit the internet, most fans were focused on the absolutely horrific job the effects team had done bringing the titular speedster to life. This unfortunately meant that the first glimpse at Jim Carrey as the Hedgehog's iconic nemesis was somewhat overlooked. Once the film landed in cinemas, however, it was clear who the real star of the show was here. With the sort of elastic and insanely committed performance we hadn't seen from him in, well, what seemed like decades, Carey's appearance as Dr. Robotnik felt like we were watching an actor finally enjoying himself again on the big screen. You could argue that Carey's last real live-action hit came in the form of 2004's Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. So yeah, this electric and equally eccentric performance felt a tad overdue. Number 2. Michael Keaton, Riggan Thompson in Birdman with Michael Keaton largely becoming a box office superstar and household name thanks to his performance as Bruce Wayne slash Batman in Tim Burton's Batman and Batman Returns, it felt strangely fitting that the role which catapulted him back into the spotlight involved him playing an actor trying his best to escape the shadow of his most iconic mass superhero character. It's almost as if it was intentional. In the years following his decision to step away from the caped crusader, Keaton rarely appeared in anything that wasn't considered a disappointment or forgettable. From the second Keaton arrived on screen in Alejandro G. Inaritu's 2014 feature, though, fans and critics alike all sensed something special was on the horizon. Desperately attempting to repair his reputation as a performer by appearing in a Broadway show, all while trying to salvage his relationship with his daughter, 
Keaton is an absolute force of nature throughout this largely continuously shot feature. In the years since rediscovering his mojo in Birdman, Keaton has gone on to star in critical and commercial successes like Spotlight, The Founder, and the MCU's Spider-Man Homecoming. It's nice to have you back, Michael. Number 1. Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool in Deadpool You could have forgiven Ryan Reynolds for never wanting to set foot in the superhero genre again. After seeing his beloved Deadpool be butchered in X-Men Origins Wolverine, and his underwhelming experience playing Hal Jordan in Green Lantern. After these two critically panned efforts, Reynolds largely stayed away from mainstream blockbusters, spending most of his time making animated features like The Crudes and Turbo, and unmemorable comedies like The Change-Up and The Voices. However, just when it seemed like Reynolds was destined to spend the rest of his career appearing in subpar action comedy or drama flicks, a thing happened. A Deadpool-shaped thing. Only this version of the Merc with a mouth allowed Reynolds to completely let loose, quipping like a man possessed and breaking the fourth wall at will. Reynolds' unhinged performance as Wade Wilson in this 2016 R-rated masterpiece not only reinvigorated the Deadpool character, but it also gave the actor's career the boost it was in dire need of. With the success of Deadpool came a newfound faith in Reynolds as a bona fide movie star. And it wasn't long before he was starring in everything from sci-fi thrillers like Life to Pokemon pictures like Detective Pikachu. Now and forever, in Reynolds we trust.